What is up, guys? I have a kind of cool project for you. So today I decided to build a backend support bot for my VGC journey. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a competitive Pokemon player competing in Pokemon tournaments for about 11 years now. Point is, I figured with AI kind of getting as good as it is, I wanted to come up with a cool project. I love coming up with cool stuff to do on ChatGPT. So I created this backend coach to help me win NAIC is the basic principle. But in this video, what I'm going to go over is I'm first going to show a cool thing as to what exactly this Pokemon coach GPT can do. I'm going to show you how you can build your own or you can copy paste my stuff if you want. And I'm going to show you how to upgrade this over time to make it more customized to you and what you specifically need. And I'm going to give some unfiltered thoughts towards the end. So let's get right into it. Now, I do want to quickly have a disclaimer that this is done using the premium version of ChatGPT. Now, there's two tiers. There's a, a two, $200 a month one and a $20 a month one. So we're not doing the $200 a month. We're doing the $20. So it's not that much. It's nothing crazy, but it's still like you got to pay 20 bucks because it uses a projects folder. That's the whole OS slash everything we built. But an example of what this can do is I kind of just showed it like uh, so I developed some practice protocols. I was like, what should I focus on today? I'm looking to practice and it developed me some basic kind of structure. Now this could be better. Of course, there's a lot of stuff to get improve upon, but it's just, it's coming up with some ideas and I would give it feedback as to what's good. What I don't like, what I do like it's like UCSR plus raging bolt or Shifu plus Rillaboom openers versus metacores like CSRs. I don't know what this is. Like it's for some reason it computed. It's like, oh, okay. So you got to work on your CSR raging bolt. And I would tell it like, no, I don't think I should work on that. Instead, maybe I should work on this. So in a way, it's kind of structured by my own head, but it just helps me organize my thoughts is really what this is. And it's kind of cool to like, you know, have some kind of like AI, like tracking my progress. So, but basically it gave me just like some ideas like, okay, so run two full best of threes on my account. Just dox my account. You guys should know this if you're continued subscribers. That's my semi doxed account. I already use a uh, game one replay minimum for analysis or tag one replay minimum for analysis. So what this bot does is it organizes my replay. So I'll submit a replay. It'll go through it and I'll give it my thoughts. It'll give me its thoughts and it'll try to analyze the replay. Give me some kind of half AI, half real analysis. And it's up to me to quality sort through what the AI jargon is and what the good stuff is. But pretty much what it does is I practice, it logs the replay and it logs it into my goal tracker. So it looks for key indicators such as my mental, such as my game, did I win? Am I bringing specific Pokemon? You can see a little thumbs up. Thanks, Mac, for adding that feature. But anyways, um, so it's just an example. Like it just, it gives me direction and structure for my practice flow is what I was looking out of this. So I'm kind of, I feel like I hit a ballpark with this and it'll get better over time. But that's the main thing I wanted to focus on is for me personally, I use this as a training plan so I can get ready for NAIC and just do this daily and start clocking these in. So I hope you guys can see the kind of functionality that this could do. Theoretically, you could program it with some kind of understanding of how to approach team preview. Maybe it could help you with some matchups. You'd have to do some advanced training to do that, but that's an example of something you can do. So hopefully I've set that anchor so you guys know exactly what kind of stuff you're going to be getting from this video. So let's get into the actual nerd science is how I did this. So first things first, I knew that there was some power in the projects folder. I started this out a while back because I love AI. I love using ChatGPT stuff. It's really cool. Just all the stuff you can do nowadays. It's really cool for research, for trying to get any kind of competitive edge and that's one of my main things i'm trying to focus on getting an edge for naic because that's what i want to do very well at and i also have worlds coming up so as a competitor you know i'm always trying to come up with a competitive edge so i was hypothesizing that ChatGPT could maybe be that solution now of course i do have some secrets up my sleeve hint hint you can see the vgc corner folder you guys know nothing about that but the point is i you know i'm okay with sharing some of the sauce because i genuinely do believe in this and i think that our community always needs to get bigger and i love kind of growing it so giving kind of resources you know feeding the feeding the hungry nothing wrong with that you know but point is i thought of a competitive edge using ai so i decided to make this into my personalized coach now that was the overall idea as to how i wanted to start this project so how did i go about that what is the projects folder and why am i using that so the difference between a projects folder and the regular G, uh, chat GPT model is that these projects can organize all the thoughts together so you can have a bigger project. So what I program mine to be is an OS of some kinds. Now, an operating system is basically just a system of logic that has a loop that can go forward and set some kind of user interface, what I was looking for. That's what I programmed it with, with that kind of logic is where I was thinking. 
Um, so I started out with the very first thing. I did this in one of my Discord servers. I had a live stream uh, for the very first part of this. Basically, I just said, I'm a Pokemon player who's competing in the 2025 International Championships. I want to work back and forth with you to help me win. This would involve a daily workflow. For example, I want to have a replay from Pokemon Showdown Analyze. I would task you with this and would provide, or you provide analysis, and I would uh, get better at Pokemon. The last piece was an example. We are not limited to this sole function. This is just an example as to how we can gain value. The areas of focus I want to specialize in are VGC latest insight, winner's mindset, competitive mindset, resilience. Your goal is to be my back-end companion for helping me get in the best Pokemon shape of my life. In order to do this, you will need, I will need the following from you. Instructions that will be plugged into your instructions file. So basically, okay, that was kind of a redundancy. I said instructions. Pretty much, I'm letting it know I'm looking for an instructions file because in the projects folder, like I was saying, we got to plug in instructions into it. So I had it generate this. I also had it generate its own project files. So I had it generate that. So that was the first thing about what I did. Um, I had it generate a, I kind of just like chipped away as to what I kind of needed to do. It asked, it generated a loose instructions to self and it generated a loose project files. I told it I wanted to go into details with this and we started crafting these bit by bit, just going to make it, you know, I was quality checking it, making sure it's output was what I wanted. If it's output needed to be refined, I'd tell it what it specifically needed to work on. And then eventually I just did that back and forth, developed an entire logic system. And then eventually I kind of realized, I was like, huh, I just realized I was sitting on something. So I worked on a reg eye guide, uh, me and a few people in the company. Uh, I had someone who got top uh, he was first on the Reg Eye ladder. I think he's currently making second, second time making this, maybe top four. I don't want to fully dox, so it's somewhere in top five for sure. Anyways, point is, this person wrote a initial thoughts on Reg Eye, and we're making an upgraded guide. You know, if you are interested in that, you can put it, uh, look in the description. I might have it up by then, maybe. Um, but point is, that guide is premium resource for how to learn about Reg Eye. So I made that, or my friend actually made that. It was mostly his work. I just kind of helped with some formatting, made sure it was good, quality check to edit everything. Um, but I made that, plugged into here, right? Because I was like, oh, what if I had AI that had the reference of all of the Reg I information? I was like, whoa, wait a minute. So then I decided to upgrade it. So I said itself, uh, I basically told itself, I was like, okay, let's try to upgrade your modules. So I added uh, a Reg I guide to your project files. How could you extrapolate this info and upgrade your OS? So it came up with ideas as to what exactly, like the it learned from Reg I, and it came up with a brand new structure plan for my files. So basically that was the process. I just went up back and forth, gave it bits of information I wanted it to, for, uh, you know, have. If you wanted to have like the full like Reg I if, to understand in depth Reg I, you can buy that project file down in the description, but it's really for human consumption. It's for you to read. That's just a bonus you can plug it into here. But anyways, but if you just wanted to find Reg I information, you know, kind of unorganized, slash like learning how to grow it over time if you want to do it on your own time for free you could theoretically have it scrape like certain twitter accounts certain piece of information on victory road there's so much you can do with this guys you know it's like for me i just had like a perfect lego piece i just had a moment of brilliance i was like wait i can just plug this in there i had it redesigned the whole thing but basically that is the process so i had a clear goal as to what I wanted to get out of this, which was a Pokemon coach to work with me because I don't need my skills refined. I need to work on my mental. I need to work on my physical shape. I need to work on getting my edge crafted. And that's what I specifically need. But hopefully with this video, you guys can kind of figure out how to do this on your own pace and make something that you think is like killer. Now, next part I want to talk about is upgrading this thing over time. There will be, unfortunately, in the current version of ChatGPT, there's no way to automatically update these project files. I have to manually, there's a manual touch point. So you want to set this OS up in a way where these files right here will automatically be updated with itself. So what it will say is, for example, if you give it a brand new piece of information, such as a replay, or maybe the current team you're using is a bit different, what you can do is just kind of plug in your team and say, this is my new current team, generate a new current team text file. It'll generate that file for you, and then you have to manually update that in its files because that is how you get it to learn and keep information. So what we're doing here is setting up a full system that essentially learns more about you as you play and then it helps you get better at Pokemon and it's really sick. I love it. I've personally been using it for my business for the past few days, few weeks and everything. That's how I've been more consistent with YouTube. That's been my back end and it works for my business thing. So I don't see why this would not work for VGC. And in my opinion, I kind of set it up in a perfect way, which by the way, guys, if you want like this, like, you know, like this full like setup I have, just join the Discord. In the Discord is the link for the copy paste initial prompt along with the whole guide for how to do this. 
just join the Discord to get in that. But yeah, that's pretty much how you go about upgrading and programming it over time. Yours will look different from mine. Yours will look unique because yours is going to be catered towards what you are looking for. So that's pretty much it. The last thing I will say is my unfiltered thoughts as a competitive player, as someone who, you know, you guys come here for my real honest opinion, right? I'm not going to BS you. Do I think this is a good thing? Yeah. Do I think it's revolutionary? At the stage it's at, no, because there's certain parts where it needs to understand a lot about Pokemon. Do I think that over time, if you keep using this, can it start to craft some diamonds? Heck yes, I do. I think this thing can theoretically work as an organization folder for all your replays, for example. You could save all your replays, upload it into it, and then have it analyze your replays based on how you've analyzed replays in the past. Or maybe you can train it on a video of me analyzing a replay and then it can learn how I can do it. That's the kind of stuff this AI is capable of. So we shouldn't like fear this kind of technology. This is just the way the future's heading. So let's just adapt and, you know, evolve into it. So anyways, the point is unfiltered thoughts. I do think this eventually will be a great way to get a competitive edge. Do I think right now, maybe for the 30 days I have for NIC, it will help me out? I'm a bit pessimistic part of me is like maybe not because 30 days it's kind of scary that's a short time span to really get this developed as a proper back end but i think it's a cool starting point so hopefully you guys gained something from this video if you guys did leave a comment i would love to see hopefully you guys like really like this because like this kind of content this kind of competitive edge is the kind of stuff i really like talking about so go ahead and leave a like if you really enjoyed this and join the discord if you want to get the prompt for how to do this yourself or ideally if you just kind of got the logic you're like awesome you know do it yourself then that's pretty straightforward but thank you guys once again for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.